This is the second part of a multi-part episode. Make sure to watch the previous parts first to be able to keep up. From our previous episode, we have successfully installed the Trend Micro XDR Splunk add-on. This time, we will be configuring Splunk to fetch the data from XDR and display it on the Splunk dashboard. Let's log back in to our Trend Micro XDR console. From the main menu, click on the Administration button then select Alert Notifications. Here we can find the endpoint URL and authentication token that we will use in the next set of steps. Let's leave this page for a while and let's switch to the Splunk console. Log back in to the Splunk console. From the main menu, click on Settings, then click on Data Inputs. From here, scroll down the list and look for Trend Micro XDR Alerts. There are two ways on how to add data from the Trend Micro XDR console to Splunk. The first way is to click on the Add New button on the right side. This opens the option to add the details that we will fill out later. The second way is to click on the Trend Micro XDR Alerts link on the list, which we will be following on this demo. On the Trend Micro XDR Alerts menu, click on the New button on the upper right corner. Here on the Add Data page, we will need to fill out the following information. REST API input name which can be any name identified. For the endpoint URL, switch back to the Trend Micro XDR web console then click on the copy icon beside the endpoint URL label. Once the URL is copied to the clipboard, return to the Splunk console and paste the information on the endpoint URL field. Do the same steps for the authentication token. Scroll down to the last options labeled Source Type. Don't worry if you don't fill the other information on this page they are not yet needed for this configuration. On the Set Source Type drop-down list, leave it as From List. Then on the other drop-down list, select JSON. Once the settings have been filled and selected, click on the Next button on the top of the list. And finally, we need to configure the dashboard settings of Splunk to show the Trend Micro XDR collected data. Let's go back to the Splunk console. On the Splunk main menu, click on Search and Reporting from the left panel. Click on Dashboard, then click on Create New Dashboard. On the Create Dashboard Options window, provide the name of the XDR dashboard on the title field. Notice that when you type the title for the dashboard, the ID field is automatically filled out as well. Let's leave the ID field as is for this demo. Click on Create Dashboard to finish the setup. Once we have created a dashboard for Trend Micro XDR, we still need to configure the dashboard to display the Trend Micro XDR data. To do this, click on Source on the Dashboard menu. For us to populate the dashboard this information, we need to configure the dashboard using the template from the package we downloaded at the beginning of this video. Open the folder where we extracted the package earlier. Right-click on the file dashboard template, then click on Edit. Copy the whole content of the document, then paste it on the dashboard settings, replacing the current content of the dashboard. From here, we need to tweak some settings to display the Trend Micro XDR data. First, search for the label tag and replace Trend Micro XDR alert with the name you want to use as the dashboard title. Next, search for the Query tag and replace source name with the value you specified for the REST API input name. In our example, we change it to XDR Alerts as highlighted. Then finally, click on Save. Once we finish the configuration, the new dashboard appears in the Dashboards list, and you should start receiving and displaying Trend Micro XDR Alerts. I hope this has been informative for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next Trend Micro XDR guide.